afternoon, Hilltoppers. This is Michael Lydon with your semi-weekly news update. And I'm Spencer Curran. Hope you're enjoying this nice, snowy December. Speaking of the cold and snow, here's Cameron Hannibarger with some OHS Christmas news. Hi, this is Cameron from Topper TV. Here to talk to you about Christmas and what people want. So, Raymond, what do you want for Christmas? 20 bucks. Why? I need a haircut. And what do you plan on doing over Christmas break? Playing 2K. So, Tanner, what do you want for Christmas? Super rad trike. Well, could you tell us a little bit about the sleigh ride? Cameron, I would love to tell you about sleigh ride. Sleigh ride is this awesome event where both show choirs and the concert choir and several seniors do spotlight acts. It is an awesome way to get into the holiday spirit and it only costs five dollars a person and that's less than a movie so I think you should do Sleigh Ride, that's on the 17th, this Saturday. This is Cameron kicking it back to the studio. If Christmas is near, that means New Year's can't be far behind. Let's find out from Savannah Berghagen what students and staff are doing to celebrate. This is Savannah Berghagen reporting on New Year's Eve. So Miss Kristen, what are you going to do for New Year's Eve this year? Well this year we're spending it in the Caribbean but Normally we spend our New Year's Eve by going to the fireworks and drinking hot cocoa and watching the fireworks shoot off. So it's a family tradition. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? I'm working. I will probably just stay home, watch a few movies, eat a bowl of popcorn, and snuggle with my dog. I am hanging out with my friends. And I'll be in Madison and hang out with family. My New Year's resolution is to say hi to five people daily that I do not know. Hi. My New Year's resolution is to make it to 2018. To get a girlfriend. This has been Savannah Berghagen reporting on New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Thank you, Savannah, for that bouncy story. And now we're going to bounce it over to Mackenzie Quillen with an update on the girls' basketball team. Hey, thanks. Welcome to Topper TV. Today we'll be checking in with the girls' varsity basketball team who made it to state last year. What do you expect from the girls' varsity basketball team this year? We are looking to get better every day, um, every practice, every drill. What do you think of the team this year? Um, we're a very hard-working team and we have a lot of talent. How do you think this year is different from last year? Um, well, we lost Josie Thomas, our only senior, but a lot of the freshmen are stepping up this year. Do you guys plan on going to state again this year? Yeah, I think we're very hopeful we can get there. We have a lot of potential, but it's a long road, so we've got a lot of work to do. How will you and your team work to get there? Um, every day, practicing games, work hard. Thanks for tuning in to Topper TV. We're throwing it back to the studio now. Good luck to the girls' basketball team and all the winter athletes that are competing this weekend. And don't forget, at 7.30 tomorrow night is a sleigh ride concert in the PAC. Recently, Topper TV's own Dade Man attended the protest at Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota, where he shot some of the following video footage. Here's Tamara Harvey with the story. This is Tamara Harvey reporting to you on Standing Rock. I think it's important that we realize that we made a deal in 1838 and 1839 with the Laramie Treaty giving the Lakota Nation um, part of the Dakotas because the Indian Removal Act moved many of the um, indigenous people away from the land that was rightly theirs and with Standing Rock they were going to take more land away from the indigenous people. Um, what they are doing is protesting an oil pipeline that's running near their territory. The pipeline is actually going to go under the Missouri River. The fear is that that pipeline could burst and contaminate their main source of water. Mm -hmm. The sad part is, is that Bismarck, North Dakota um, didn't want the pipeline near their city so they rerouted it closer to the reservation, and that's where the protest started to happen. Can you give me your opinion on the North Dakota Pipeline? My opinion is that the, I celebrate the fact that our indigenous people are, are championing this cause when nobody else seems to be doing it. The reality is that this is truly a water issue and that people all over our nation need to show their support not just our American Indians. Furthermore, this is happening in other marginalized communities 
it's happening in Flint, Michigan with their water supply too. So when we have marginalized communities uh, being taken advantage of by big government or big business, I take issue with that. I think that's a problem. This is Tamara Harvey signing out. This has been Michael Lyon with Hopper TV. Stay classy, Hilltoppers. Stay classy. We'll be back in January with the last Hopper TV of the semester. You what? first. We're not what? starting with this close up. We're starting right here. Oh, I. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right.